Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. we now got pack 5 from Agora Models, this is the Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Now I'm loving that build and what I've done at the moment, as you can see I've laid out everything that we've done at the moment. So we've got the two doors, we've got the seat, we've pretty much got the full chassis here, the fuel tank in the back and obviously we've got the uh, fender here with the headlights in it. But in this issue we're going to be doing a little bit of the uh, suspension here, we're going to be doing some pedals, we're going to be working on the dashboard as well. But I wanted you to see this because up to pack four at the moment, this is everything we've done so far. Now this build has got pride of place on my shelf. It's gonna go right there when it's completed and you can still order this yourself from Agora Models. And I'll put the link down for Agora Models here. Go over to their website and you'll see everything that they're offering at the moment, including the Terminator T800. And coming soon in September, you've got the uh, Shelby Cobra, which looks absolutely amazing. As a matter of fact, uh, Agora Models have posted this picture of what the Super Snake looks like next to the Cobra. And uh, when the Cobra's on the other shelf there, they're going to complement each other big time. So I can't wait to get started on the uh, Cobra when that comes. But all the details for that are just down here. If you follow that link, and this is worldwide. So uh, if you're inquiring from another country, then by all means, go over to that website. Agora Models can answer any questions that you've got. Uh, but without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing the stabilizer bar and the lower suspension arms. This is pack 31. So we get this open, see what we got here. This is what the bar looks like. Make sure that's empty. And we've got two lots of screws here. We've got MP03 screws. Uh, we've also got MD02 screws. And then we have got some pins that we're gonna be putting into uh, this part. So I'm gonna keep them to one side for a second because we're gonna to have to bring over the main body of the car. And we want to turn it upside down like this and we want it this way around because this is the area that we're going to be working on. And quite simply, in these ingresses either side here, this is just going to be slotting in just like that. Now this is where we're going to need the pins. So I'm just going to open these pins here. And as you can see on these pins here, one side has got a rough section, the other side's smooth. We make sure that when we insert the pins, the rough section is the last thing to go in. And basically from this bar here, we're going to be pushing the pins in each side to hold this into place. So what we need to do is just basically line it up just like this on one side here, push it all the way down as far as it will go and then get yourself a flat edge. And for this, I'm gonna use the other side of my tweezers here and then just push that home to lock that into place. And when that's in, that's gonna keep that side in. We're gonna do the same on the other side here. Once again, so we just push it into the hole at the back here through the part lining it up with the other side then once again with the flat edge of my uh, tweezers here I'm just going to push that into place and once they're in they're going to look just like that all we need to do now is these two arms here have got to be screwed in from the other side so once again i'm going to flip the vehicle over and we can see them from the other side here looking just like that we're going to hold those in with mp03 screws so we'll get these open I'm gonna put them through so we can see them quite visibly. And then we'll put the screw in. Now this screw has got a flange on it, but I'll tighten that up nice and tight. And that's the first one in. Do the same on the other side here. Now what this is gonna do is gonna leave us with some MD02 screws. Now in this stage, we don't use those, but we do have to keep them safely. So once that's in, that's gonna look just like that, that side, and that, that side. So the next section we're gonna be putting is just the steering bar. And basically this is gonna be going on this way, probably best on the side camera here. We're gonna slot this end into this pipe here, just like this, all the way down. We're gonna be ensuring that those little grills there are fitting flush to the bottom of the chassis, just like that there. And then these ringlets there are pointing straight up. And that's all we have to do in that stage. We do have some spare screws here, MD02s, but we don't use that in this stage. So stage 32, we're gonna be working on the upper suspension arms. So we get this one open. And this is everything that we've got in this issue, once again, We've got some MD02 screws here. We've also got some MD06 screws. 
And last but not least, we've got another couple of pins here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna construct the upper suspension arms. So basically we're gonna need one section looking just like this, show you on that camera. And we're also gonna need the base like this. And then holding this with the flat side up here, we're gonna be approaching it this way round. And as you can see, we've got holes down either side there and there, which we're gonna be driving one of these pins through. So we get one of the pins out. And quite simply, all we're gonna do is put one of the pins through, making sure it goes through the detail at the bottom there. So that's going in just like that. Make sure it goes through the other side okay. Probably best to use some tweezers just to make sure that we line that up correctly. And when that's all in, we're happy with that is we push that in. And once again, I'm gonna use the flat end of my uh, tweezers here just to push that home. So when that's in, it's gonna look just like that. We're gonna repeat that for the other side. So once again, we're gonna take one of these, making sure that we put this on the correct way. It's gonna go on that way there. Put the part in, and then once again, we'll drive a pin just down this side here, through the detail. Once we're happy where we got it, I'll push that home with my tweezers. Now if you haven't got tweezers to do this, you can just use some pliers. That will do the same job. But you just want to make sure this pin is seated all the way in there like that. Now I'm going to bring the vehicle back over again and we can just take off this sec detail here that we put on at the last part because we don't need that at this stage. I'm going to turn the vehicle over. So we've pretty much got it the right way around at the moment. And these are going to be attaching either side, one this side here and the other one this side here just like that, and they're gonna be held into place with MD06 screws. So I've got them here. We'll get them out. I'm very conscious that we are going into metal with this one, so I'm just putting a tiny bit of oil just where these MD06 screws are gonna go. And that will just ensure that they go in lovely and smooth. So just like that, we'll get these screwed in. We've got two each side, and we should make sure that those suspension arms there are sitting perfectly flush just in that section there. So there you go, that's the first one. Let's do the second one here. Lovely and tight and nice and secure. We do the same on the other side here. That's the first one in. One more. And there we go, that's the second one. We just wanna make sure this is able to move freely in both directions, just like that. And that's that stage complete. Now stage 33 is a ginormous piece, as you can see there. I'll show you on the side camera as well. We've got the interior floor in this one. So let's get this open. Being very gentle, I wanna cut that open. This is absolutely lovely. <laughs> this, oh, the material is amazing. It feels really soft. As you can see, it's flawlessly black looking absolutely brilliant and obviously we've got the mark there for the gear stick uh, and we're going to be putting this in the vehicle this is what it looks like for the other side on the other side just stuck here with sellotape we have got the gear lever so i'm just gonna take that out like that because it's this part that we're going to need first can't stop touching this <laughs> so holding it this way around we're going to need to get the uh, gear lever out of here so i'm just going to cut that off and we'll get this out the gear lever looks just like that and look at the detail on that. I'm just showing you on the close-up camera just so you can see how good that actually looks. And basically, if this is the uh, front of the floor lining there, this is gonna go in this way, following the square, so it's pointing directly to the back there. We're gonna be securing this in with an MP01 screw. So we get that out, hold that in place, turn it upside down, and the screw's just gonna go through the bottom there. With these, I just put them in really softly to start off with because I don't want that gear lever turning. And that's in lovely, looking just like that. So 
So once again, I can put that to one side because we're going to need stage 34 now, which is the front sidewall, some switches and some pedals. There's quite a little few things in this one, as you can see here. Just making sure everything's out here. So we've got the sidewalls. There's the pedals. I've got to show you those first. They look absolutely brilliant, don't they? <laughs> they are able to move just like that, which are excellent. And there's the switches there as well. And we've got some screws and we've got a bracket here as well. So the first thing we're gonna need are the sidewalls here. So let's go and get these open. Once again, these have got that material that I just showed you on the inner lining of the floor there. Lovely and soft. And I'll tell you what, when you actually feel the quality of these yourself, pretty amazing stuff. We're gonna bring over that inner lining here and then taking the uh, side that this goes with, this is the L, it's got L at the back there, which means that it goes on the left hand side. So that's gonna fit just on this side here. The other one is an R. It has got an R written just on the back of it. So that's gonna mirror on this side over here, just like that. We're gonna be securing these all into place using MP01 screws just at the back here. And the one on this side here will be an MP03 screw. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the right hand side one first. Hold that into place. And as I said, these two right at the front here are going to take MP01. So we'll put one of them in, that will hold that in. I'm not tightening that up fully at the moment. I just want to get the MP01 screws just to locate this. Just like that. And then we're going to be putting an MP03 screw just into the back and then tighten everything up. Now, as you can see, the MPO3 screw is quite a short screw, but it has got a flange on top of it, and that will keep all of this into place. So I'll get that screwed in. And now I've got that to caught, we can just tighten all of these screws up completely. Now we're going into plastic, so even though they're going to be tight, you don't want to over tighten them. So just hand tight will be ample to keep that sidewall there into place so it looks just like that. Going to do the same on the other side here. So once again, turn it upside down, locate this to where it goes, which will be like that. And we're going to put two MP01 screws just down there. Put the first one in. Again, I'm not putting them in all the way until I'm happy that it's seated correctly. Here's the second one. And then we've got the flanged MPO3 screw just into the end. And then we can tighten that up completely. And there we go. That's the walls installed. We can put that to one side because we're going to be working on the switches now. We're going to construct the switches that will eventually go in the car to operate what I believe are the lights. And as you can see, these switches look like this close up. They've got a little button on top there. So when they're pushed down, it's going to activate the switches. One's labeled O2, one's labeled O1. Now, if I'm holding it this way, the switch O1 is going to go into this little point there. And then the switch O2 will be going in the other side here, just like that, with the actual switch facing upwards, like that. Now once again, if I bring the lining over and turn it upside down, this is going to be going into this side here, just at the points here where you can see where we can mount this. So I'm just going to put this into place of where it goes, without those switches falling out. You do want to ensure that the switches are facing down to the correct angle they're meant to, just like that when they're in. And we're going to secure this in with one screw just down the bottom there with an MP01 screw. And you know you've got this in because this is actually just going to hook over that little section at the end there. So when I put this screw in, just like this, it's going to hold all of that into place. And what you want to make sure of is that you can see the switches just through those little holes on that side there. So when you actually do connect the pedals to this, it will be able to activate the switches. Now this is where we're going to take the pedals, looking just like that. We're going to be putting these into place just over this point, just here. And they sit quite neatly over here. But when we put them in, we want to make sure that they are completely lined up. 
and that these pedals, when they're activated on this side, will eventually go through those holes to activate the switches, which that one does and the other one does as well. So let's get this secured into place. And once again, they're going to be secured in with two MP01 screws, which I've got loaded up here. Let's get the first one in. Make that nice and tight. And we put the second one in the other side here. That looks really impactful, doesn't it? It's amazing how one detail can really make the whole thing pop. Just like that. And then once again, I just want to make sure that you can hear the click actually. You can check the switches are activated by getting that click there. And we've got the same on the other side there. But that's the pedals in place. <laughs> We're going to put that to one side because we're on stage 35 now, which is the dashboard and the fuse cover. They're all in the same pack here, so we get them out. This is such a fun build. <laughs> I have to say, I'm absolutely loving this. I'm just going to get this out from this tray here. This is just in to make sure that the part is protected. We have got a pin down the bottom there as well, so obviously it's protecting that part as well. Now this is what the fuse cover looks like just like that there. That's just gonna go into this recess just here. So it's gonna fit nice and flat, just like that. And then we're gonna take it from the other side here and we're gonna put putting a screw in to hold it in place here. The screws come in this one, an MP03 screw. So let's get that in now. This is the MP03. Screw it in nice and tight there. And there we go, that's the fuse box covering. Just look like that. So I'm going to just put all of that to one side because the next stage, which is stage 36, we're going to be doing some dashboard trim, dials, and we've got the Shelby badge in here as well. So let's get them cut open. Loads of details in this one. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need the dials here on stickers, which look just like that. We're going to be taking over the dashboard. As you can see, this is where the stickers are going to go just into this section here. Now, if you follow the picture here, it will tell you in which order they go in. So I am going to put my glasses on in this one so I can ensure that I do put them all in the right way. So the first one says gasoline and that's going to be going into the top left here. So hopefully one of the cameras will be able to pick this up but I'm going to ensure this is actually in so the gasoline at the top is pointing exactly in the right direction. I put them in with my tweezers and push that into place. And that's the first dial in saying gasoline. So the second one along Looks like a rev counter, looking just like that. I'm gonna put that in next. The way they've got it in the pitch there is uh, it's like a clock, and they've got the 12 o'clock position pointing straight up. So put that one in, making sure that it's sitting perfectly square in there, just like that. The third one says temperature. So again, I'm using my tweezers just to help me to apply these. I'm going to make sure this is facing directly upright, just like the uh, first one we put in. So that's the, the smaller ones done. Then we've got the speedometer. Big one, this one. That's going to go into the larger dial on the left here. And again, making sure that that is the right way up. Looking good. Push that into place. Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that big time. And the last one we have to put in. Oh, this is the rev counter, this one here. Again, making sure this is the correct way up. And they've gone in absolutely perfectly. So that's all the dials in place. Now we're gonna need to take this chrome trim off here. So we get this out. And this, I've got to show you this before we do anything with it. It's flawless as well. Look at this. <laughs> Gives me a big smile, but check that out. Look at it. Absolutely flawless, this chrome. Looks really good. And we're also going to need just these clear lenses here, looking like that. And basically, we're just going to be putting these just into place over the top there. And we've got some little locating pins to ensure this sits in all by itself. So that looks just like that, and that from that side. Then we're gonna to need to bring over the dashboard where we just put those dials in. And we're gonna 
make sure that this goes over the top and aligns with the stickers that we just put underneath, pushing everything into place. <laughs> Looking just like that. I'm laughing because I'm telling you what, it's just so good when you see it coming together like that. How good does that look? And then I'm just gonna open the final bit of trim that we've got here, which is gonna go over the whole thing here. This is what the trim looks like. We're gonna put that over the top just like this. We're going to locate that all so it's fitting completely flat in there just like that and then we're going to be securing this in from the other side here into these screw holes here that's going to be taking mp01 screws and it comes fresh with mp01 screws in this pack so i'll get them open and we'll screw these in and this will hold all of this in place now it takes three screws so i'll just put the middle one in first and then we've got one to put in this side here and one to put in this side here. So the center one's in, let's just do the ones on the other side here. Here's the second one, nice and tight. And last but not least, we got the third one just over the other side here. And as you can see, that's all in place looking just like that how cool does that look hey eh? now we just need to take this detail here that looks like a cross i'm just going to uh, get that out and we've got another sticker left on the uh, sticker pad that we had here which is just going to go onto that it's this one here so i'll get that one off and then using my tweezers it's going to help me apply that to this detail here That's gone on absolutely perfectly. Look, check that out there. Looking just like that. And then this is gonna go onto this area of the dashboard. As you can see, it's gonna fit the same shape as that. We're gonna push that in with the lugs, just one on each side here. And that little badge is gonna be secured in from the other side with some MP05 screws, which I've got here. Just two, just to keep that in. To be honest with you, it does hold itself in really well, but you uh, obviously don't want that falling out. So we'll put these screws in. As you can see, we've got two screw holes just at the back there. And we'll get them in like this. Holding the detail for the front, because we want to make sure that doesn't come out again. There we go, that's the first one in. One more. And there we go, the screws are in the back there, looking just like that. Now part 37, we've got the central dials, car radio and the glove compartment. So a lot of little details in this one as well. Get all of this out, just like that. And the first part we're gonna need is the radio, which is a pack, looking just like that. Lovely chrome again, get that cut open. And as you can see, the radio is looking really detailed. Look at that. Now this is just gonna go into the same shaped hole that we got at the front of the dashboard there, making sure we put it the right way round. So it's gonna go that way round and that's gonna be secured on the other side here with some MP01 screws. Once again, in each stage, the screws do come in it and we're gonna be securing that in just in those two lugs just at the back there. That's one in. And number two, looking just like that. Then we've got some central dials to put in and they're gonna go on this section here. And once again, we have got a sticker where we're gonna be attaching some of the uh, details to. So let's get them out now. We've got a lens to go on that. And this is what the stickers look like here. So sticker A is going to be going on this side here. Sticker B is going to be going on this side here. So sticker A is the one that's actually this side. It's not the one on this side. It's the one the other side here. So I'll get this off the uh, sticker pad. And once again, I'm going to put my magnifying glasses on so I can ensure that I put this around the right way. So that's the first one on, looking just like that. Let's get the second one off. And there's the second dial going in again, making sure it's around the right way. Now 
that's got in absolutely perfect just like that then we're going to be putting the lens over the top of these to hold them all into place and then once the lens is on we're just going to put the front cover over the top of all of this together just like that so as you can see you can see the lens is behind there looking excellent we're going to secure that in the other side here with an mp05 screw which i've got here let's get them open just one screw is needed for this one and this will hold everything together there so make it nice and tight and there we go that's the central dials looking just like that now the central dials just go underneath the radio there as you can see we've got a little lug hole here we're going to pass that through so it covers the hole just at the back there we're going to screw it into that hole there just with an mp05 screw so i've got that here line that up again and we'll get that into place and make it nice and tight and there we go that's now looking just like that the next thing we're going to do is the glove box assembly so we're going to need the cover looking just like that we'll get that out here and then basically the two lug holes that we've got for the uh, glove box here are just going to go over the two that we've got inside the vehicle here so i'm just going to ensure they're lined up so that the actual uh, glove box does fit flush there which it does and that's going to be held in with mp01 screws we need three of these screws because we've got one two three screw holes to put these in so i'm going to put the bottom one in first i think just like this to keep that into place I'm not going to over tighten it at the moment because I want to ensure that they're all seated correctly and that that glove box is fitting flush in there here's the second one and here's the third one and then once that's into place I'll tighten up the center one again and there we go that's the glove box into place or well, that's the rear of the glove box and now all we need to do is put the cover of the glove box on which is the last piece that we have in this stage and as you can see we've got two little areas here which is going to enable this to pivot on so all we're going to do is put this into place and once that's in you should be able to open and shut the glove box just like that really good <laughs> now this is the bit where we're going to actually put the dashboard that we've created onto the vehicle so basically these two tabs here on the back of the dashboard are just going to fit over these two holes that we've got here one there one this side just like that and that's going to be secured in with two mp03 screws this looks good <laughs> this looks very 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 good so here's the first one in this side over here make sure it's nice and tight I can't wait to put this in the car this is definitely going to be the thumbnail for this video <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant right here's the second one here again make sure that's in nice and tight I'm gonna pick it up so I can actually hold that a little bit tighter there and there we go that's the dashboard onto the floor pan of the car <laughs> And then we can put that to one side because the last stage that we've got in this pack is stage 38 looking just like this and basically we've got the rear floor and we've got some front seat belts so we get these all out and this is what the rear floor looks like again that same excellent material there we'll get the seat belts out and we've also got seat belt anchors in here as well these are the anchors looking just like that so what we want to do is we want to make sure these are in the right way we've got a little lug just at the bottom there and a flat section which is going to mirror what you see here that we've got a flat section there and we've also got a little lug at the bottom so we can push this in and it will stay up all by itself now it's quite a tight fit so it does need some pushing but when it's in it should look just like that we're also going to put one around the other side here again making sure that the thinner section the curved section here is facing towards the middle of the vehicle so we get that in just like that and you know they're in they're going to keep themselves in no problems at all 
Now we're gonna turn this upside down because what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure this rear section into the front section here. And quite simply, this is just gonna go over the top of those lugs just there. And it's gonna be secured in with four screws here, 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 and here. I think uh, the MPO one is definitely the, the screw to go to in this build. But this is a this is a pleasure doing this stage. I said this uh, pack five is definitely one of the more enjoyable packs of this build. It's uh, it's certainly brought a smile to my face. And when you see some of the pictures I'm going to take at the end of this, you'll realise why. Okay, here's the second one. And then the last one, just into the other side over there. So that's now looking just like that. Then quite simply, what we're going to do with the seat belts, we've got two slots just either side of the central area here. Uh, it's probably best to look at the picture for this, but we're going to be pushing the seat belt through those slots so they come out the other side. So as you can see, it's the, through there now. I'm going to give that a little push to get that all the way through. Just like that. And then we've got a locating pin on this side, which is going to keep that into place. I'll get my uh, tweezers out. You'll be able to see that. You see, you've got a pin there and a little hole. I'm just going to put that over the top of that hole there. Just to keep that into place. Then we can pull this tight. And there we go. That's the first seat belt on just like that. That will eventually clip into this side just over here. We're going to do the same on the other side with the other belt. It'll give you an idea of how that looks. And that is all we have to do in this pack. Now I can't continue without putting this into the vehicle just to see what it's going to look like. So I'm guessing this is going to go on kind of like that there. And then the seats will obviously go on here. I'll just put them the seat belt hanging over the other side there. Uh, I think I've got the, uh, there you go, the seats go in here. And then the other seat will go in the other side here. I'm just gonna just put the seat belt off there just like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks pretty amazing. And that is pretty much what we've done in this issue. And that looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? What do you think of that? Well done, Agora Models. You've made a, an old man very happy. That looks really good. If you want to get this for yourself, once again, I've put the Agora Models link down here. Go over to Agora Models' website, and you won't only find the uh, Shelby Super Snake here, you'll also find the Terminator T800, and also the pre-order for the uh, Cobra. Um, but if this is anything to go by, you can imagine some of the builds that are going to be coming up for Agora Models. I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, Take care.